I grew up on a small farm in West Cork and was one of the first pupils in the first all-Irish mixed secondary schools in the country. I helped looking after Mary, my older sister, who had Down syndrome and was taken care of at home. Unusually for the times, I had taken a radical career break and went to work as cabin crew in Aer Lingus. I was involved in the union scene there. Uh, we fought for permanency and won. A seven-year contract became a 25-year career. My job was important to me. I lived my life. I worked on a mission in Kenya for three months, one of the highlights of my life. I travelled to Australia and went to visit a very good friend of mine, Father Michael McCarthy, in the Cork Diocese Mission in Peru. Mary came to live with my husband and me in Cork. I was just married four years at that stage. We were married in beautiful Gugan Barra. My dad had died two years earlier. The hardest part of being Mary's carer was my own disability. I had a serious accident, hurt my back, had three operations which left me debilitated for the rest of my life. Another thing was dealing with the authorities. Like being made to feel Mary wasn't wanted in a hospital or in a respite home. There were, of course, some brilliant nurses. I remember one night nurse who trained in England. Her attitude was so different, and that made a difference. Sometimes Mary's disability was a problem in the hospital. I remember once she came home with bruises. I made a complaint. That was in 2002. Thirteen years later, I am still awaiting a reply. It was the lack of humanity sometimes. People behind desks in health services who knew nothing of what it was like to care for a loved one. It made life difficult. What really did make a difference was the kindness of people in everyday life. From the local shop selling a fridge to replace the one that had broken down came out at night when he didn't have to. Like my brother's home help who looked after him above and beyond the call of duty. And the tree surgeon who dropped everything and came to take care of a tree knocked in a storm. It's all those everyday crises carers need help with. Just good people doing good things. It makes all the difference. For 14 years, I was Mary's carer with the help of my husband. It was like living for two people. In 95, I took early retirement from Erlingus. That really hurt. My career was important to me, but I couldn't do it any longer because of my own disability. I didn't want to give up work. It was like a bereavement, but it was a privilege to care for Mary. Mary was charming and funny and not hard to look after until her final three years when she had Alzheimer's and had a hip problem. She was losing her speech and had seizures. I coped with the help of a lovely respite worker from the Carers Association. But also I want to say this is about who we are as a society. This is me today, you tomorrow. It's all of us. Cork people, Irish people. Let's talk about these problems. Mary deserved dignity. Glenn deserved dignity. I deserve dignity. And humanity. If we can change things, I hope you and your family will benefit when you become the carer or the person being cared for.